Somehow it just never works out when civilized apes cross paths with humans. You think? Simone Boyce joining us with more on Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and I hear a lot of great buzz. Oh, yeah. It's actually a huge cinematic achievement. Just the way that they're able to make these digital animals look so realistic. It's, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable. I, my mouth was kind of just dropped wow. watching it. Yeah. Um, but it was really cool. I got to travel to San Francisco and talk to the cast. You're burying the lead, right? That's the best part of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you'll meet them in just a minute. But for fans of the original films, this is the Planet of the Apes movie you've been waiting for. For every other theater goer, it's an unrelenting action spectacle that grips you with the opening shot and doesn't let up until the very end. You all know what we're up against. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes continues the origin story from Rise of the Planet of the Apes, when a virus unleashed a super species of highly intelligent apes and nearly wiped out humankind in the process. That's where we pick up 10 years later in Dawn. All hell breaks loose here in San Francisco where apes and humans must fight for survival. In actuality, humans play a very small part in this spellbinding summer blockbuster. The magnificent apes are at the center of it all, and it's better that way. They're more fun to watch and often show more humanity than our own kind. <laughs> Leading the ape army is top chimp Caesar, played by Andy Serkis via performance capture technology. He makes you sympathize with a virtual animal in a way you never thought was possible. But really, with Caesar, he is, although he's an ape, he is also um, an ape that believes he is human to a certain extent. He was brought up with human beings, and so he reflects human behavior quite a lot too. The thing is, you're not relating to him as an ape. You're really just looking at Andy, looking in someone's eyes, saying, you know, he's so, this being this person saying I'm worried about my family. The American star Kerry Russell fights for the human resistance alongside the Dark Knight's Gary Oldman and Zero Dark Thirty actor Jason Clark. But in real life are you team human or are you team ape? Well we're obviously team human. Well, You're going for the apes. You're well, no I'm, well I mean I can't take <laughs> too much lady? away but we have a little moment there at the end where yeah. that very question is asked. He's pro ape. <laughs> As the ape versus human conflict escalates, total mayhem ensues, lighting up the rich scenery with a barrage of bullets and stunning visual effects. They make contact, military. They're already on their way. But no matter how outlandish monkeys with machine guns may appear, the film remains grounded in universal truths and compelling performances across the board. Just looks so realistic. Yeah. yeah. If you uh, if you guys tune in tomorrow night on Friday Night Live, uh, I've got a behind the scenes uh, story about how the actors transform into these apes, and I actually got to try on some of the arm extensions that allows them to walk oh, wow. on all fours. It was really cool, <laughs> cool. learning how to do that, and nice. then. I also was taught how to make some of the ape sounds, so it'll be fun. If oh, you're going to make tonight. some ape sounds for us. Yes. We're hooked. We'll Would see you at 10.30 tomorrow. Indeed. Friday Night Live. Okay. Well done, Simone. <laughs> see you then. All right.